Hi friends, today we will see how we can add custom field on your Shopify product pages. For example, if you are offering product engraving, you can use this custom field to let your customers enter the text they, that they want to get engraved on the product. You can collect this customer information using line item properties in Shopify. So line item properties are custom form fields in Shopify that you can add to your product page which will allow your customers to add the information that they want. Now let's see how we can code it. Again. So let us see how we can add those additional information onto the product page. Uh, first way is uh, without touching the code itself, go without going into the edit code, we can do it from the customize itself. So what you have to do is click on customize. So you have to take the product template from, template or from here. Uh, so this method that I am showing now can only be done with the updated themes. Uh, that's, that have updated the online store 2.0 theme is not updated to the 2.0 version you cannot use this method you will have to go into the uh, theme uh, code and then do it from the customize you won't be able to do that your theme is 2.0 version then you can uh, do this method so go to the uh, as I said go to the template then or just below the product information you can see a section called add block click on add block and you can add this block called custom liquid click on that and then open that uh, custom liquid uh, block and then what you have to do is you have to copy paste this code this code i will add it in the description box below okay so what this uh, this does is this gives this is actually uh, an html uh, attribute uh, label where which will uh, generate a label over here and uh, this text you can change and change the text over here and your add your name okay so whatever you want uh, you can change the name over here and the corresponding name will be uh, coming over here so input type is equal to text is the text field that comes over here make sure the input has the name attribute with this syntax that is uh, properties and in square brackets the property name now you can click on save now you can rearrange the position where you are, where you want to add that uh, engraving field i am going to add it uh, just above the add to cart button so my customers can add the engraving that they want and add to the cart So this version is not an online store 2.0 version. So I'll show you how we can do it in this. So you have to click on edit code from here. You have to go to product.liquid. So here you can see uh, the sections are added as product template. So uh, our form will be in the product template section. So on the sections you, have, you will have to go and find product template here is product template dot liquid so you have to select product template dot liquid and then what you have to look for is you have to look for form okay so when you see uh, when you look for that you can see that it is actually a snippet the product form is added as a uh, snippet over here so we'll have to go and find out the snippet and it is in that snippet that we will have to add our um, add our line item attribute so the line item attribute that you add to uh, fetch the additional information should always be between the form tag so there will be a form starting tag and a form end tag so it should be between those so now let us see uh, where we can add that um, so let us preview this for example and just find out where we can add it so it is on this product that we are just going to add the engraving um, or what we want to uh, get the information from the customer uh, to add a name on it. So, uh, so, so I want to add it just above the add to cart button. So I go to my code, the code and I can search for add to cart. So uh, I can see that. So here it is uh, commented as a uh, add to cart button is starting from here and uh, then uh, just to confirm so when I check I can see that the quantity selector code is just above that so what I uh, I can do is I can just add a, a space over here now we have to add the uh, code over here so this is the code actually uh, we will add it in the comment section below if you want to copy it from there you can copy it 
as I said before, you, you should never forget to add the uh, name attribute uh, with this syntax. Only then it will be uh, considered as a line item property uh, with Shopify. Now you can save it. And uh, now you can see that uh, on the product field, uh, sorry, on the uh, product page, uh, this field has come where uh, you can actually uh, get, uh, you get a field where you can actually uh, get the uh, information from the customer. So now I want to actually uh, style this uh, field in such a way that it matches my entire team design. Uh, so what I will do is uh, you can come, I will come here and actually add a class over here. So class is equal to uh, form underscore underscore input okay so this is the uh, class which i have already uh, added on my css file uh, to make sure it looks uh, same like the other uh, form fields that i have so when i come and refresh here so you can see that it has now matched the field has now matched the design of my team so this, in this way you can add a uh, personalized uh, fields on your uh, product page and get pers uh, get additional information uh, from the customers on your order it's not that you can add only the uh, text fields you can the same way you can add uh, drop downs uh, then uh, select fields uh, check boxes etc